Uh, good afternoon and uh, praise the Lord. My name is Reverend John Mwangi and once again I want to welcome you to our midweek service here at Sozo Ministries International Juja and I'm so grateful to have you here once again uh, to share the word of the Lord together with you. I just want to request you whenever you're watching us from you can share the video, you can do the host party, you can invite a friend to watch together with you. You can as well go to our YouTube channel, Sozo Ministries International, I mean Sozo Ministries Juja, that is YouTube account, Sozo Ministries Juja, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be able to see all our teachings that we've been uh, uploading into our channel uh, for quite a long time. I want us to pray so that we can hear the word of the Lord tonight. Heavenly Father, we bless you tonight. We exhort you, we thank you, Lord, even for giving us another chance, another day, another moment to share your word tonight. We bless your holy name because we know, Father, you've gathered us here tonight with a purpose, a purpose to speak to us, a purpose to minister to us, a purpose to release the word to our hearts. Lord, I pray that you may, uh, you may give us a deeper revelation of your word tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every viewer that is watching us today, those who are watching us within the country and outside this country. Lord, I pray for your grace and an anointing of the Holy Ghost to be upon them tonight. We give you praise and I honor you. I dedicate the whole of this service to you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Uh, I want to talk about... God is building it again. God is building it again. And I believe that uh, this is the word that the Lord has set for us tonight. And uh, I know that uh, there is something that God is going to minister to us in a very special. I want to read in the book of uh, um, Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 1 and 6. And uh, before I read that verse, I want just to take you behind to know that Jeremiah was a major prophet. And uh, he was a young prophet because he began prophesying when he was an uh, age of uh, 51 years old and we we, in those days we knew uh, the the prophet was somebody who was old enough with many years but Jeremiah was one of the major prophets the the prophet that God used in that season at at his age of 51 years and there's some few things that I want us to read in that package in in uh, Jeremiah chapter 18 uh, verses 1 through verses 6 I am reading in the New King James Version that is my preferred uh, uh, version for tonight then the word of uh, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying arise and go down to the potter's house and there I will uh, I will cause you to hear my words then I went down to the potter's house and there he was making something as at a, at a wheel I want you to underline the word wheel because we're going to come back there. And the vessel and and, uh, um, and the vessel that was made of clay, I want you also to underline the word clay. There are three uh, words that I want us to see on that package, potter, wheel, and clay. Was mulled in the hand of the potter, so he made it again into the, another vessel as it seems good to the potter. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter? Says the Lord, look at the seat, uh, 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 look at the clay in the hands of the potter, uh, the clay in the in the potter's hands. So are you in my hand, O house of Israel? Hallelujah. There, there are some there are some few element that I want us to see or three items that I want us to see in that package and remember the Lord is speaking is the Lord is giving Jeremiah a message the Lord is speaking to Jeremiah but there is something that God is doing to Jeremiah he is not uh, just giving him a message to the nation but God is taking Jeremiah into the action he's taking him into the house of the potter and God is trying to show Jeremiah what was happening into the house uh, the, the house of potter and there are three things very quickly that I want us to see in that package number one the Lord is talking about the potter because in verses number three the, the Bible says that I arise and go down to the potter's house and there I will cause you 
to hear my word. In other words, God told Jeremiah that I will not be able to release my word to you. I, I will not be I will, I will not be I will not release the message to you. I will not declare the word that I want you to hear for me. But first, I want you to go to the house of the porter in that house, in that place, in that environment, in that locality. I am going to release my word. And the word porter represents um uh, the, the the porter works on the clay. The work of the potter, it is to work on the clay. And the other word of the potter, it's, it's drawer. The drawer means the one who formed or, or, or fashioned things. The one who can form, form is to give the shape. Form is to, is to work on the, on, on, on the kind of something that you want to work on. And the one who fashion, fashion is, a, is somebody who gives a name or gives uh, the, the outer look or, or gives the appearance of something. And, and, and number two, the Lord is talking about the wheel. And uh, in verses number f- uh, three, he says, Then he went down to the porter's house, and there he was making something at a wheel. And the wheel means a deriver, a, a deriver, the, the deriver tool, or a place of rebirth. But our abiding place. It is a place where something is coming into our life. Something is being formed. It is the tool that is used to deliver either a form, a form it is the shape, or something that is working on the crate to produce or to deliver a, 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 a something that the potter want to make. And number three, the potter is talking about the crate. The crate represents the mass. <coughs> Or the form or even the shape. It is something that is being used by the hands of the potter either to make a shape, to make a form, or even to to, to build or to, to create something on the hands of the potter. And uh, for the for the clay, it needs a potter to work out with it. He need a potter. This is the potter. He needs a cray and the cray requires a wheel to form something that the potter wants to and there's something that I want you to understand here you know God is giving a prophetic word to Israel through his servant Moses I mean the, the Jeremiah and God is taking him to the house of the potter in other words the potter is there but he cannot work without the wheel because the wheel is used to form, to mix, to work on the clay, to, to roll, to turn around the clay, to make it look like the way he wanted. And there is a, 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 a pot, there is a clay that is used. So in other words, now God is trying to show Jeremiah an illustration that this is the message that I want you to take to the, to the, to the Israel. This is the message that I want to take to my people. But this message cannot be, con- it cannot be completed without God in the scene. And secondly, without the wheel. The wheel are the challenges of life. The wheel are the things that we go through every day. The wheel are the things that messed up our life, take us around, roll us around. Um, um, make our life uh, 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 f- uh, I mean uh, our life uh, formless build our life and, and sometimes makes our life look miserable and in the process of our life being in that process of turnaround there is a clay that makes us form that build us and make us who we are in our life and in verses 3 he, he's making on the wheel in other words, the clay, the, the potter is taking the wheel, I mean the the, 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 the clay, and is putting it on the wheel. You know, some of the time when God wants to build you, God wants to make you, God wants you to be the kind of person that you are, He will take you into a wheel. Into a wheel, it is the people around you. It is the experience in life. It is that challenges that you go through. And in that process of wheel, that I believe the wheel was moving so fast. You know, if you go to a house of a porter, he put a, um, a, a clay on a shameless form on the top of the wheel. And the more the wheel is moving around, the more the wheel is rotating, the more the wheel is moving, it is forming the shape. Of the of, of what the potter want to make, and many of the time when God has taken our life, you know, in the process of a wheel, we may feel pain, we may feel disappointed, we may feel um, 
our heart is uh, our life is not coming out it's not giving the kind of the result that we want but in the process of the will in the process of rotating in the process of that motion movement in the process of conflict that is when our life is coming of the shape and i know some of us there are some people this evening this morning their their life it is in the in in, in the will it is in that it is in the turn around there is that movement there is that a uh, commotion there is that conflict there is that um and continuity and and co- continuity of your life sometimes you feel like your life have come to an end you feel like everybody is standing around you you feel like nothing good is coming out of you but i've come to tell you tonight in the process of the wheel that is when you become of, of the, you, your life become give the shape of the kind of person that god wants you to be and in and, and in verses 4 There is something again is is the Lord is speaking here saying and the vessel that he made of the clay were mulled in the hands of the potter the word mulled means it was messed and many at the time you've ever been in a situation you feel you've been messed up you've been messed up in your marriage you've been messed up in your career you've been messed up in your business you've been messed up in your place of work You've been messed up messed up with the people that you've trusted so much. You've been messed up on the people that 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 you value so much, that you believe on so much, the people that you've invested so much on them, the people that you've given them the those sensitive secret of your life, the people that you've been working st- j- you've walked journey together step by st- uh, step by step every day they mess you up. And now God is saying that the vessel was mulled in the hands of the potter. Remember the 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 the, the potter or, or or the vessel was not mulled outside the hands of the potter. It was mulled in the hands of the potter. It was messed in the hands of the potter. And many other time we feel like God has forsaken us. And I've come to tell you sometimes even when our lives are messed up, when things are like things seems uh, they are not taking us to the di- direction that we are going it doesn't happen outside the will of god remember even david is crying to god and telling god you know what why have you turned your way your face away from me why have you forsaken me and he could tell god some some words like like somebody who has been in a, in a desperate mood somebody who has been despised somebody who has been pushed away but all of those things remember even job his life was messed up in the, even in the presence of god god knew what was happening and now jeremiah is seeing a vision of a vessel being mulled in the hands of the potter but this is what happened and this are many of the time our life will, is going to be messed up our life is going to be miserable our life is going to uh, like uh, you, you feel like the people that you value even god himself have forsaken you but i've come to tell you that tonight any time your life has been messed up in the hands of god god does not leave you at that point god does not just forsake you at that point there is a second level that god does and in verses 4 he continues saying so he made it when the when the, the when the when the uh, the the vessel was mulled up in the hands of the potter the potter did not just raise and say uh, just keep quiet and say hallelujah or uh, it's okay but the bible says so he made it again into another vessel into another vessel i want you to note that that way very well into another vessel he didn't just mess his uh, he didn't just mess the vessel and say okay you know i tried one two three four it didn't work but the bible says he made another vessel and i've come to tell you tonight you know there are people who are watching me tonight some of you you feel like your life has been messed up you feel like your life has come to an end you feel like you tried something and it didn't work so well and you feel like now what i need to do i need to give up on this life and do and and, and forget about god forget about the means ministry forget about the calling forget about the business forget about the marriage but i've come to encourage you tonight in the process of being messed up there is a new there is a new beginning there is a new phase that is coming in your life and that's why god is showing jeremiah a potter and a clay and a wheel but in the process of the hands of the potter the vessel was messed up but the vessel vessel being messed up it was not an end of the of the potter's work it was not an end of construction the bible says that he made again something else out of that vessel he made something else he took again that vessel he worked on it 
he built something else and it is seems the Bible is continuing saying and it is seems good to the potter to make and I've come to tell you tonight I feel I need to encourage somebody tonight maybe you feel like you tried something long time ago and it didn't work you feel like the people that you value so much in your family, in your background, in, uh, in your locality, they don't value you so much. They, 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 don't, um, they, they, they don't take you the way you feel it is good for you to be taken to another level. But I've come to tell you tonight, anytime your life is messed up, God is there looking for somebody he can raise up. The Bible says that the righteous man falls seven times, but at, uh, every time he falls down, he lies up and moves to a journey. He lies up and continue moving. He lies up and continue with a mission. And I've come to tell you tonight, even as the Jeremiah was looking at the porter, messing up with the, with the vessel, he didn't just sit down and say, oh, look at that, I have messed up what I've worked for quite a long time. But the Bible says he took hold of the clay and make something else out of that vessel. And it was pleasing in the eyes of of the potter and i've come to tell you tonight you are praising in the eyes of god you are praising in the eyes of your maker you are praising in the eyes of almighty god you cannot be messed up by that trouble that problem that failure that disappointment that had broken it cannot mess up your hand your life it cannot mess up your destiny because you are variable in the eyes of god so he took up the 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 the, the, the mild Cray, and he makes something else uh, on the same same hand he makes something else he made another vessel and there are three things that happen in that package one he made it again and i want to encourage somebody tonight god can make you again maybe you feel you are working somewhere and you are retreated because of the COVID-19, because of the, of the measures that the government gave and the, your company could not be able to sustain you. Your company could not be able to keep you and uh, you, 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 you were fired and you were given an early retirement and you feel like your life has been messed up. I've come to tell you tonight, I've come to encourage you that God can make you again. And no, even in that process, the, 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 the vessel... The, the, the vessel is coming out something good is coming out of the hands of the pet of the of, of the potter but in that process of trying to beautify it and make it well something happened and he break it and when he break it when he mull it up he didn't just say oh i have done it for one year i've done this for many years but the bible says he get hold of that clay and make something else and it was praising in the eyes of the potter and i've come to encourage you tonight some of you, you carry great ministry in you. Some of you, you carry great gifts in you. Some of you, you carry great future in you. But something that is messing you tonight, it is not that failure. It is that feeling that, oh, I have wasted a lot of time. I've wasted a lot of time in this relationship. I've wasted a lot of time in this job. I've wasted a lot of time in my career. I've wasted a lot of time in the things that I do. But I feel like my life has been messed up. But I've come to encourage you tonight. God can make you again. Hallelujah. So the potter took hold of the clay and make it again. And the second thing that happened in that package, God, the, the, the potter made it to another vessel. He was making, for, for example, maybe he was making a cup and the cup did not come well, well it don't it didn't come up well. It got mulled up. But the potter get hold of that clay and made another vessel. And I've come to encourage somebody tonight. Maybe you tried something and it didn't work. Some of you, you tried a business. Some of you tried being employed. And uh, every time you're going to a place of work, uh, uh, the offices, your boss is, is, is harassing you. And you feel like you cannot be able to continue doing the kind of work that you're doing. I've come to encourage you tonight that God can make you to a different vessel maybe you tried something in your life maybe you've been in a in, in a in a in a in a praise and worship department and the people around you they're trying to mess up you up maybe it is in the call of the ministry maybe it is in your in your in your career and the people around you they're trying to mess you the circumstances the surrounding the environment is not conducive i've come to encourage you tonight that god can make you to be another vessel what you need to do it is just get hold be quiet be patient wait upon the lord because the bible says 
that those who shall wait upon the Lord, they shall mount like an eagle. Even though when the challenges come, the, 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 the life is trying to melt them down, the circumstance is trying to melt them down, they shall mold, they shall mount like eagle, they shall not go weary. But they shall come out strong. And I've come to encourage somebody tonight. I've come to encourage you. You are listening to me and you feel like your life has come to an end. You feel like something that you have invested for quite a long time. Something that you have tried for quite a long time. You have lost it. You took a loan in the bank. You put, a, you put it on the business. And the business has gone down. And you feel like your life has come to an end. I've come to encourage you tonight that God can make you again to another vessel. He can make you again. Number one, he made it again. And the second thing, he made it to be another vessel. You know, there are people who feel like whatever they valued so much has gone. They feel like they are going to give up and die. When somebody is watching me tonight, you feel like you can take, you can take, you, you can commit suicide because whatever you've trusted for quite a long time, it can't, it can't give you the results. You feel like you've come to an end. But I've come to encourage you tonight that whatever God has started in you, He's faithful to accomplish in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. He's faithful to accomplish whatever He has started in you. And number three, He made it as it seems good into the potter. As it seems good to the potter, He made it. You know, many other time we want we want to be so and so. We want to do this. We want to do that. We are trusting God for this. We are trusting God for that. But in the mind of God, there is what God wants us to be. You know, he said to Jeremiah, when you go back in Jeremiah chapter 1, verses number 5, he said that, I knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. I called you. I consecrated you. I ordained you. The word ordained means he, he separated you. He took you and put you to a platform. He anointed us even before we were formed in, in our mother's womb. And God can see our end even as he hold our beginning. And many of the time we want, we, want, we, want, we want to bulldoze God. We want to dictate God. We want God to follow our mind and our, our characters and what we believe in. But God can make us what it seems good in our life. Maybe the vessel which has messed, has just messed up. Maybe that career, that work, that marriage, that expectation that has just messed up. It was not the will of God. But God wants to make you to be a porter, to be a vessel as it seems good into his eyes. Because in verses 4, he said, um, 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 so he made it again into another vessel, into another vessel, a vessel of different kind, a vessel that is variable, a vessel that is precious, a vessel that is good, a vessel that is of honor, which it seems good to the potters to make. And this is where we fall. Many times we tell God, oh, you know, you know, even in Israel, they, they, they said, God, we want a king. Oh, we want a king. No, above all, Lord, we don't just want a king, but we have a king that we have appointed, that we have chosen ourselves. And they told God, anoint him, because this is the man that we want. And the Bible says when they brought Saul before God, it, because it was the will of men, it is, was the will of Israel, God anointed him. But it was not in the will of God. God has anointed David as a king. And I've come to tell you tonight, God is, God, God has made us, God, God made to change or, or, or the lives or he has, whatever the life that he has built in our life. God has made us in a way that he has changed us to be able to appreciate, to be able to fit into his mind, into his purpose, into his call. And many of the time, no, we were created to serve God. We were created for the purpose of God. We were created to, to, to do as per the will of God. And I've come to encourage you today that God has created you with a purpose, with a call, with a mandate. And many of the time, we, we can push God into our idea, into our will. But it is God who made us as we seem good into his face or into his eyes. 
And I'll continue, I'll conclude by saying this, that whatever God has made, he will never disappoint. Whatever God has made, he will never disappoint. He tried to show Jeremiah an illustration that if you are in my hand, if you are in my call, if you are in my ideas, if you are in my season or in, or in time, if you are in my assignment, whatever that I've started in you, doesn't matter whether other people will appreciate you, doesn't matter whether other people will chase you, doesn't matter whether other people will disappoint you, doesn't matter whether other people will chase you away from me, but whatever I have started in you, whatever I have, I have put in you, I am faithful to follow it to an end and to accomplish it. And God is faithful. He never leave, he never stop, he never disappoint what he has started in our life. And that's why in verses in verses 7 he says, Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I do to you as the potter? You know, God is showing Jeremiah an illustration. He's taking him into a practical. Then God is releasing the word into the mind of Jeremiah to take the children of Israel. And I've come to encourage you tonight. Many of the time God wants to speak to us. Many of the time God wants to show us things. Many of the time God wants to align us. Many of the time God wants to show us the things that we cannot be able to see with our physical eyes. Because God is preparing us. He's preparing us. He's making a way. He's trying to take us to that scenario, to that situation, so that we can understand what God has done and I've come to encourage you doesn't matter whether your life has been broken doesn't matter whether your life has come to an end doesn't matter whether your life has been messed up by the circumstances but God is able to build it again God is able to build another vessel God is able to make you a vessel that seems good into his eyes let's pray Heavenly Father we thank you tonight thank you for your word Thank you for speaking us in a very powerful way that you can make our life, that you can make us a vessel. You can make us again a vessel, a different vessel, a vessel of value. You can make us a vessel that seems, that looks, that, that is appreciable, that, that you love it yourself. We bless you, Lord, because you never leave us and you never disappoint us. I pray for a viewer that is watching us today. Some of them, they have come to an end. Some of them, their life was messed up. Some of them, their business was messed up. Some of them, their marriage was messed up. Some of them seems like they have come to an end. But Lord, your word has taught us tonight that you can make us again. I pray for that person who have come to an end. I pray that you may build him again. Give him grace. Give him the encouragement to rise up again because you are able to build him again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I give you praise and I honor you because you are an awesome God and you are a great God. Thank you even for those who are giving tonight. Thank you for those who are standing with the ministry tonight. I bless them and I release this word upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord do you good. May the Lord remember you. May the Lord build you up. In Jesus' name. Once again, you can share the video. You can do the host party. You can as well go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel, Social Ministries Judah, and you'll be able to see all the teaching that we've been uploading uh, in that package. God bless you. God do you good. Until we meet some other time, Shalom, Shalom. And also you can give to that number on the screen, and God is going to bless you. Amen and amen.